What's up guys, Sahaman back with a quick little video. Um, I went to the Swamp Me today and uh, I picked up a few things so I figured why not share with you. Now, there's a mess in here, you can see. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I added some new little shelves right here so you guys will see a, uh, I guess you can say an update very soon on the new shelvings that I put like on the floor just to put some stuff inside and to put on top of it. So I'll get into that stuff later on because um, I'm not even close to being done. I got to add more shelving. There's going to be more shelves in here. Anyways, um, so let me go ahead and give, show you guys what I picked up at Swamp Me. So one thing, I ended up picking up this. Um, I think this is from the Spider-Man Classics. I don't think I ever owned this. This is the Mysterio Magic Change Mysterio. This came out in 20, uh, 2005 and I got this for $5 and it's still in the card, which is actually pretty cool. So if I, uh, let's see, let me go ahead and adjust this really quick because I'm doing this on the phone. And you can see here, the head still does change. He does the little head changing action, a little magic trick. I don't even know if I can do this with one hand on the uh, on the camera. So we're gonna have to adjust this really quick so we can get this to work. Right, I think I got, okay, I think I got this going. So let's go ahead and do the try me movement here. So you can see the different heads. It's kind of, the packaging's kind of messed up on this, but you can kind of see the different head sculpts in there. Um, I think if we turn it back around, it shows you some of the, the head sculpts there, but, um, it's not a clean card, so this is definitely going to be an opener. I'm not going to hang it up on the wall with other other cards that I have. Um, I mean, this isn't going to just be a, a, a Swamp Meat haul. It's going to be other hauls as well. Um, I picked up this Penguin as well on card for 5 bucks. It's a $5 little figure, which is actually pretty cool. This is from the Dark Knight collection. I actually own several of these. Some of them are carded on the wall. So I got this Penguin, which I thought actually looks pretty cool. And I always save the cards because I like looking at the back at the figures that you know i also need to pick up so this is a little five dollar pickup i ended up picking up this groot it's a damaged box um this is a loot crate exclusive glow in the dark i didn't even realize it glow in the dark the guy asked me if i wanted it and he offered three bucks for it in package isn't bad at all so this is a loot crate exclusive glow in the dark i actually didn't know it glow in the dark because um i just grabbed it when he told me the price and I ended up taking it with me. And I just, just coming home, I'm packing everything right now. Um, I also picked up this Dengar. I think this was $7 the guy sold this for me, which was pretty cool. It was about $7. I don't think it was more than that. So this is pretty cool. This is about what? Maybe 10 inches or so? This is really, I, I love the Bounty Hunters. I always loved Dengar as a kid. I don't know why. I think it was the look. Um, what else did I pick up from the Swamp? I picked up the... Uh, Batman Beyond Funko Pop. I got that for two bucks. So that was pretty cool. Really nice to have that guy in the collection. Um, and then we come over here. This was in box, but I opened it up because it was just really damaged. This 100th edition Batman figure. I thought it was a statue, like a little statue, but it's not. It's an actual figure you can take off of the base and um, it's a poseable figure. And then I got I got this one. It came in the box, but the box was damaged. I think I paid $10 for that one. And then on the back, I did pick up a few loose Batman figures. I think they were 75 cents or 50 cents each. I don't remember. I couldn't pass on that. Um, they're not, they don't have any of their accessories. They're not complete. So not a big deal. Also got this vintage turtle figure here. This Actually, this came out back in, let me see the year here, 19... This is 1998. So I got this guy here, paid a dollar for him. And then I got this vintage TMNT lunch pail. Didn't, it doesn't have the thermos. Um, this is actually from 1989. I believe I paid, I want to say I paid five bucks for that. So couldn't pass on that. It, you know, I have that vintage lunch tray. So I was like, you know what? It'd be good to add this guy to the collection as well. We come over here. Um, I got the Tupac pop. I got the Biggie pop, the Hot Top exclusive. That was from you know stores um i got the home alone pop there i paid a dollar for him and then i got the um kilowog green lantern pop loose um i think it was in a three pack i got him this is actually a really cool looking pop i got him for two bucks so i couldn't pass on that uh, too bad they didn't have all the other green lanterns to go with them also i forgot to show this when i showed batman beyond i got this eagle moss clay face statue if any guys know eagle moss they make a lot of batman the animated series little statues as well and amongst other things and i got this guy here he just had it in package just like that uh, there was because it comes with a comic book i believe or a magazine and um it didn't come with it it just came it, it was still in the clamshell sealed up and everything but there was no comic book and there was no box for it but i got him for five dollars so really happy that i can add that guy to the collection and then if you guys follow me you guys know i'm trying to collect my goosebumps books i ended up picking up another one from the collection i buy i find a lot of these at swamp meets and i usually 
pay a dollar for them. And I finally got the Haunted Mask. So I finally got this book, $400. And this is the original one because the um, reprints didn't have the texture right there on the Goosebumps uh, title, but I ended up picking up the Haunted Mask. So happy to have this one in the collection. Now, I think that's about it as far as, as the Swamp Meat haul goes. But I also picked up some stuff recently, and this is one of them. This is something I've been eyeing for quite a while. This is a GameStop exclusive Batman figure. I just actually came back from picking this bad boy up. Original price was $50. Again, I've been eyeing this for quite a long time. It's actually a pretty big little PVC statue. And this guy was marked down from 30, 50, I'm sorry, from 49 to 39 to now 29 so i couldn't pass on that and then all dc products and marvel products this week are marked at um 20 off so i paid about 22 dollars for this statue which was super super cheap so absolutely happy to have that oh also got this one here at the swamp meet the two-face i think this was a walmart exclusive um i paid a dollar for him in box too surprisingly ended up going to walmart finding the um hot wheels Batman figures, or I'm sorry, the vehicles. I got the, is it Hot I'm pretty sure Hot Wheels makes these. I have the packaging over there. But a while ago, I ended up finding these ones here, the animated series and the Batwing. And then now I have, I ended up picking up the Penguin vehicle here from Batman Returns, which is pretty cool. And then the Adam West 1966 Batmobile. Another really cool item I picked up, and this is something I got from OfferUp. This is the uh, Toy Biz Batmobile. Last time I owned this, I was a kid, so I haven't picked it up since then. I almost bought one at a comic book shop, completely sealed, wrapped in everything for um, $100, but I, I didn't feel like spending that much money on this bad boy, even though I love it so much, but I found it on OfferUp. The guy ended up going, oh, geez, how much was it for this? I think it was $40 that he ended up selling it for. Um, again, it, it's, it, it was in box, uh, not sealed, but for 40 bucks, couldn't pass on it. And here it is. This is the main reason why you love this as a kid and still do. It has the, uh, the canopy, which is absolutely awesome. So got that. And it includes, he included figures in here, some old school figures. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Such a great looking Batmobile. I've always loved this version. I mean, I have so many Batmobiles that I got to put out on display. Other than the ones you see here, I have tons more. And um, so that's going to go great in the collection. Here is another new addition to the collection. This Robin, I got this at Pure Blades. This was on clearance. I believe I paid about $35 for him, which isn't bad at all. Um, they're kind of overpriced there at Pure Blades, but the price was already on clear. It was already on clearance. So I paid a, l a little under um, retail for him because I never picked him up when he came out. So I think I paid about $35 out the door, which isn't too bad. Not a bad price at all for this uh, PVC uh, Diamond Select animated Robin figure. Yeah, so I think that's about it, guys, for all the stuff that I picked up. Again, I got the new shelving units. You guys will see when all those are done. There is figures inside of them, and I do need to put lights in them as well. I put out some more you know, I made the displays up here a lot more bigger for the top of it. I wanted to put some horror stuff. I opened my Jigsaw, or I'm not Jigsaw, I'm sorry, my Billy and Leatherface pops there, which I absolutely love. And then as far as reviews go, I have my um, NECA Migo style 2017 Pennywise video should be coming, should be up tomorrow because it should be arriving in the mail tomorrow. So I did order that. And in case any of you guys wanted the glow bug, Funko Pop, Pennywise, It Chapter 2 Pop, that is up right now online to buy. So it's actually in stock. Um, I went to GameStop and they said mine should be coming sometime this week. So just to give you guys a heads up. But if you guys saw anything you liked in this video, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have picked up anything new, let me know as well. Drop a like down below, guys. And we'll see you soon. Later. Don't believe.